Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be filming a nighttime routine. Really just like what I usually do before I go to sleep. I go to sleep around like 12. I'm planning to change that for the new year. Even though I used to go to sleep later, I used to go to sleep around like 4 a.m., 3 a.m., especially at the beginning of the new year, it was horrible. But I made a new year resolution that I wanted to fix my sleep schedule. If you guys haven't watched the new year reset, I mentioned all of that in there. I've actually gotten better a little bit. I'm falling asleep latest, 2 a.m. Even though it's still bad, it wasn't as bad as it was two weeks ago. So I'm still gonna count that as improvement. This is basically what I do after I get home from work or after dinner. Today, I decided to film this video because I actually went to dinner. I went to a Korean barbecue spot with my family. It was really fun, the food was very good. So that's why I'm dressed up. The lighting was changed a little bit. It was really cold today. It was like 20 degrees outside, which is insane. You go out and you feel your face is freezing off. Ooh, I wore hoops today. I feel like every time I wear hoops, I get such a boost in confidence. Literally nothing changes, it's just the hoops. I'm gonna go upstairs with you guys and show you what I do to get unready for the night and sleep like a baby, literally. A little note, I always bring water up because for some reason, I always feel the urge to drink water at like 3 a.m. and I'm too lazy to go back down, so I always have this by my nightstand. Anyways, I'm gonna turn the light off and I'm gonna go up. I just put on my PJs. I have these Mickey Mouse white gray polka dots PJs. I'm literally in love with them. I love them so much. Ever since I purchased them, I literally can't I use it and I can't wait to use it again. It's literally I'm in the bathroom because I'm gonna take off my makeup. I, I use two products to take off my makeup and then I do my skincare, which is like what the dermatologist sent me because I am a little girly that suffers with acne. I think I'm talking too fast. Ashley, you gotta go now. Okay, I suffer with acne, so I go to the dermatologist and they sent me products. So I use those as well, which I'm gonna show you after. But right now, what I use to take off my makeup, which also the dermatologist recommended for me, is the Cetaphil um, Gentle Skin Cleanser. And before that, I started using the Pond's Cold Cream Makeup Remover. I feel like my camera's twisted. I wanted a, like, kind of like a cream remover. Something to put on my face that I, like, scrub it in so my makeup could come out. I've only used it a couple of times, like three or four times, and it's done the job, so... I'm gonna use it again tonight. Thank you. Oh, little ponytail. You always wanna make sure you wash your hands before you wash your face, because the hotter you're gonna wash your face with dirty hands, that's just gonna break you out even more. I put a little water on my face, so you see like the little drips. It's that to the hairs, and you're gonna just, I just apply it everywhere on my face, really. And then I kinda like move it around with my two hands. Make sure to get all the spaces even like. I'm back in my room. I just finished using these two products. I'll show you kind of what I use. FYI, these products are with prescription or at least that's how I got them. The creams and gels I use are kind of like almost done. I use the erythromycin and then I use the tretinoin after that. And then after I apply these two products, I hydrate with the CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion. After I finish my skincare, I take care of my dental hygiene, which is brushing my teeth, so I'm going to do that right now. Just finished brushing my teeth. I'm standing right in front of my TV so you guys could actually see my face because if I sit on the couch, it's going to be too dark. So that's why I'm like sitting here in the middle of my living room. I'm being a little quiet right now because there's people sleeping. One of the things I do is journal. I have a physical journal that I actually use, but recently I've been using my digital journal, which is actually so much easier because I don't have to get out of my bed to actually write. 
What didn't keep me motivated before was the fact that I had to get up, go find a pen, and actually write in it. Now I can just do it from the comfort of my phone in my own bed. But I updated my phone recently. I was actually kind of late, but I have iOS 17, I think, now. It has a journal app, and I didn't figure it out until like a few days later. I've been using that app, and it's actually really good. It gives you like recommendations of like what you could journal about like reflection photos that you've taken throughout that day or locations you visited and to write about them it's been really fun actually using it and i actually have a streak on my journal now which is crazy i'm gonna do that right now and i think i'll just get back to you guys i can't really show you my process of me doing it because it's on my phone and i'm recording on my phone but i'm going to do that and then i'm going to sit here and watch some youtube videos I'm like an iPad kid. I literally love watching YouTube videos, even if it's people I don't know. I just want to know what you're doing. I don't know, but I've been like that all my life. So I'm going to sit here after I journal and watch some YouTube videos and then go upstairs and go to sleep. So that's really my routine. Other than the fact that like sometimes I go upstairs and watch YouTube videos on my phone or TikTok instead of actually coming to my living room and watching it. I'll update you guys later on what I'm watching on YouTube and then to close off today's video.